Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, I got a bit of a special treat for y'all to take a look at. And uh, this is one of my personal uh, shotguns here. This is a, was it, 1961 Browning A5, a semi-auto 16 gauge. It is not a sweet 16. I've done run the numbers on this and everything. And it is what they call the standard series. But let me bring you in closer and look at this thing. It is just beautiful. Ah, well, here you go, guys. This thing is just a, this is a work of art. Back in the day, these Belgian-made Brownings were just awesome. She got that scroll work on that thing. And this old shotgun is in fantastic shape. There's only one little nick right there. And for the year, that is not nothing to uh, really complain about. I really like it. And like I say, this is one of my personal collection. Uh, we will take it out there and put some rounds through it. But as far as that, this would be pretty much a safe queen. Recently acquired this, have not even shot it yet. Uh, the gentleman I got it from, he gave me some shells for it. So I do want to take it out to the range and try it out. But now I'm just going to shoot it from the hip because of my tore up arm and shoulder. So we'll just do some hip shooting and see how she runs. And if she runs great, fine. If not, I'm really not going to complain. Plane. I've always wanted one of these A5s, and now I have one. And this is just a nice piece of history. Just a very, very nice old shotgun. But uh, enough yapping about it. Let's run out to the range and do a little bit of shooting and just see what we think about this. Alright guys, made it out here to the range. Let y'all see this beautiful browning. We'll see how this thing works and functions. Uh, I've got some Winchester White Box, regular two and three quarter, uh, number six shot. Hopefully it'll run these. This is low cost stuff. Uh, like I say, I've never owned one of these before, so I can tell you what it will run and what it won't run. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some in here. I don't know how many of this holds. I would assume that the plug's still in it, and uh, it's only going to hold uh, two or three or whatever. Oh, that's right. You got this. You got this lever. Y'all see this lever right here on the side? What you got to do is grab it and roll it forward to be able to load the thing. And when you do that, it automatically puts one in. Well, I don't like that. Get that out of there. All right, with that side lever pulled inwards, can you still load it that way? No, you cannot. The lever does have to be out. So, and like I say, don't y'all don't be making fun of me. I've never had one of these before, so I'm learning. I'm going to chamber that down with no ammo in it. Flip my lever. Then I should be able to load her up. There's one. Two. Two is all she holds in there, guys. So, yeah, this is a uh, basic two in there. I did engage the safety. And there is the third one. 
Well, it's one of them you live and learn, try it out, and see how everything functions. But uh, like I say, I'm going to shoot from the hip, guys, because my arm's killing me. Let's just see if we can hit a couple of things out there, and if this thing is even going to function with this uh, low-cost ammo in it. Uh, yeah, I think that worked pretty good. Low-cost ammo. Well, it seemed to run them three, and the last two just fine. Let's do that again. That lever must be, uh, I'm going to say, sort of like a safety in a way. I don't know, I'd probably need to do a little bit more reading on this thing. Come on, get out of there. what I was after. Well, I'll tell you what, it sure peppered that up, didn't it? Alright, guys. It's killing my arm. We're going to do three more. Not because I like the pain and the punishment, but because uh, I really like this shotgun. Let's see. There we go. And he grabs the first one. Quick reload there. Then I should be able to slide two more in there. And let's see if she'll just rip three out right quick. Oh, baby. Well, guys, I think I just found my new favorite shotgun. Be glad when the shoulder heals up and I can actually get out here and get some aim on it and let this thing rip. It's doing really well because I mean this is that cheap low brass stuff too. That Walmart special. Well it used to be Walmart special. I haven't been to Walmart in over a year and probably won't go back. But guys there you have it. I mean that is just a that is an awesome shotgun. I thoroughly enjoy shooting it. Of course, with my arm heals, I enjoy it more. It seems to run fine. Of course, I need to learn all the little particulars about it. But all in all, I'm very, very happy and thrilled to own it. Well, guys, thanks for watching that. Hope you enjoyed that Browning A5 16 gauge. I know I did, and I'm going to a lot more in the future. Well, everyone, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Much appreciated. Until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.